Welcome to the world of four-wheel drive beach access. New York State Parks, the National Seashore, and Suffolk County Parks are deeply rooted in four-wheel drive access and are committed to safe and responsible usage of our parks. The following video is intended to inform the user of proper safe beach travel and required equipment. Jurisdictions vary from state and county and federal properties and different rules and regulations may apply. It is the responsibility of the user to learn and understand these rules. Regardless of which beach you drive on, you should always carry the following. A jack, tow rope or chain, shovel, air hose, jack board, porta potty, spare tire, and air gauge. All tires must be deflated to approximately half of the maximum PSI rating. For example, a tire rated for 35 PSI should be deflated to 17 and a half pounds PSI. This goes for all four tires. Some auto manufacturers state in the manual that it is not necessary to deflate tire pressure for beach driving. Don't you believe it? The same is true for all wheel drive vehicles. They do not perform well enough for beach driving. The tires will spread out and act like snowshoes. This will allow the vehicle to float on the top of the sand, reducing the strain on the drivetrain and avoid becoming stuck. Use available turnouts in the road to avoid oncoming vehicles and avoid indiscriminate crisscrossing over the tracks. Stay well above the high tide line and keep a reasonable distance from the dunes. Remember to obey all signs regarding speed limits, restricted areas, and wildlife protection zones. When exiting the beach, vehicles with open water on their right should have the right of way. Before returning to the pavement, switch from four-wheel drive into two-wheel drive. Most parks provide air stations to reinflate tires for street use. Please become a keeper of the beach by taking your trash with you for proper disposal. Park personnel, along with many volunteers, work hard to keep our beaches open and safe for us for future generations. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Uh, so again, my name is Steve Sinkevich with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, basically, we're trying to protect uh, breeding areas for federally protected species, uh, the piping plover and the least tern, primarily the piping plover in this area. Uh, they basically just nest, uh, they just put their eggs right in the sand, they make a scrape right in the sand, uh, and they generally will nest in, in the upper reaches, uh, portions of the beach. Uh, so we basically try to protect this area to prevent people from accidentally crushing them or uh, someone driving over it. So um, we basically put the fencing up to protect the breeding areas uh, and also put it high up enough the beach to still allow for some access for state employees and also for uh, out of Democrat Point for recreation of vehicles. Um, but we appreciate the Libba helping us out uh, putting up the fencing and uh, we generally put it up in late March um, and once the chicks fledge, once they're able to fly, we try to remove the fencing as soon as possible. Hopefully that's by sometime in July, uh, possibly into August at the latest. But uh, we certainly try to get a win-win situation where we protect the birds while still allowing the access uh, for the off-road vehicle uh, community. So we, thanks, we thank you for that help. At Robert Moses State Park, Field 2, um, with the Long Island Beach Buggy Association, doing our annual beach grass planting. Fencing for the protection of piping clover. Uh, this is an event they've been doing long before I came to work at Robert Moses. Great cooperative event between uh, state parks, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and the uh, Long Island Beach Buggy Association. Um, great work with the Liver guys. Uh, besides all of the work that we accomplish, uh, have a lot of fun uh, and just a really great organization to work with.